And the big fear goes far beyond the rising COVID numbers. Climbing hospitalizations and ICU cases tell the true story. Health experts say hospitals could reach a point where the most critically ill patients may not get treatment to try and save those with a better chance at survival. Against that grim backdrop, the Ford government will announce further restrictions tomorrow. But unlike Quebec, they will not include a curfew. Well, we worked all weekend, all, basically all weekend, right until late hours uh, last night. We'll be going to the cabinet with recommendations. We'll make an announcement tomorrow. In a one-two punch, the Ford government will first release the latest modeling numbers tomorrow, which the Premier said on Friday were scary. Then, shortly after, new restrictions will be announced. Sources confirm with City News the focus will be on cracking down on manufacturing, and there will not be a curfew or a travel ban. Every incremental reduction in interaction between people who don't live together will make a difference. This is a crisis situation. Dr. Michael Warner, the head of critical care at Michael Guerin Hospital, says cancer surgeries are already being cancelled because of rising COVID cases, but predicts there could be a point where not all patients can be treated. 409 patients in Ontario ICUs today with COVID-19. We will likely cross the 6-700 mark before wave two starts to peter out. And anything close to that will lead to uh, potential uh, tragedies in some of our hot zone hospitals, whereby we may have to implement triage. That means deciding who gets uh, a bed, who gets a ventilator, and really allocating those resources to those who are most likely to survive. It's not clear when new restrictions will go into effect. The Ford government has been heavily criticized for taking too long to take action, this time and before the holidays. Its own modeling data, released four days before Christmas, concluded imposing a lockdown immediately could prevent tens of thousands of cases. Instead, it waited until Boxing Day, six days later, to lock down the province. That led to mass shopping the weekend of December 19th. Consider this, it took 25 days before December 29th for hospitalizations to increase by 400. After the 29th, it only took 10 days to increase by 400. The seven-day rolling average for the positivity ratio before December 29th was flat with a modest increase. After the 29th, it almost doubled. Does that not show that, that it is important to act quickly. The sooner the measures are put in place, uh, the better. Placing restrictions on society is a very uh, serious matter. They need to be uh, considered and re reflected on in a very serious matter and not rushed through. Dr. Yaffe says a survey suggests one out of three people are not following guidelines and blamed non-compliance, not government decisions for the spread of COVID. So to sum up, new modeling will be released tomorrow morning, followed by the announcement of new restrictions in the afternoon. But we don't know how long it will be before those new restrictions go into effect.